Hey, welcome back to the Beer Ranch Garage. And of course, if it's your first time, welcome to the Beer Ranch Garage. Today, we're doing another junkyard uh, uh, trip, uh, Adventures at the Junkyard. I have a couple of things I want to try to pluck, and uh, I'll see if I can bring you along with me. But uh, before I get into that, if you don't mind, please go ahead and click right there and give me a thumbs up. That helps. Uh, Helps uh, get a little more attention in the channel, and uh, if you're uh, viewing the uh, video up to this point, I'd really like you to help me out. And of course, if uh, you continue to like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. All right, so I'm gonna finish up this beer, and I'll see you in there. All right, folks, so uh, we're in. It's uh, actually turned out to be a really nice day. Uh, started out really, really cold. It's still pretty cold, but uh, the sun is out, and uh, the cold has kind of kept the uh, uh, traffic at the yard to a minimum, so I was actually able to get a nice uh, little cart today. Uh, even though there's a sale going on, it's not super, super crowded. So uh, let's get going and I'll show you what uh, I'm hoping to get today. Well, folks, I've said this a million times. I'm not just an out of EW channel, but uh, of course, <laughs> there's a uh, A4 here. And I uh, had to come back and uh, see if there's anything uh, that I want to scavenge. And uh, it does look like I might get a couple of these turbo hoses. So, might as well. Uh, nothing else of super interest. That's a really nice, clean car. Um, these, these, uh, uh, what do you call them? Glove box doors typically break all uh, a lot. Um, the black ones are in a lot of demand. I, I just, I don't have a whole lot of uh, desire to take this right now. Um, so we're just going to take those houses. And uh, of course, every uh, every Audi of this uh, spec or this um, uh, era, we have to check the little uh, compartment. But of course, there's almost never anything of value in there. And there is a uh, it does uh, weirdly look like that somebody got into the fuel pump here. It's one of the other things I wanted is a uh, spare fuel pump. And uh, this one is gone. Hmm. Interesting. I do need these little uh, um, connectors for this fuel pump uh, module, so I might take that. But um, not connectors, I'm sorry, the bolts. So I'll get a couple hoses and uh, those bolts and uh, um, that's actually a couple of things that I needed. So uh, if you want to pay attention to that, we'll get this set up right here. Not a whole lot going on, but you can uh, come along. All right, this will work. Oh. I don't know if you can see that oil coming out of there, but uh, someone's turbo seals or PCB uh, system are uh, not great. And by someone, I mean this car. Actually, the engine's pretty clean. Um, this doesn't look like a, a bad engine whatsoever. This hose looks pretty good, so I think, uh, I, think I need one of these, so I'll grab it. Uh, I don't need this one, so huh, let's go over here and see if we have any luck with these uh, fuel pump module bolts. These guys tend to strip pretty, uh, pretty regularly, so let's see if they uh, come out and play nice, or if they strip. Let's see, let's see how I can put you guys. Oh, there's the uh, fuel pump. Oh, they actually took the pump and left the uh, the deal here. Oh, well. But uh, like I said, let's see if we can get these, these bolts. Can you see that? Yeah, 
Alright. Alright. So these kind of look like five millimeter hex. Eh, they're not six. But they're like a loose fitting five. And I doubt Audi used uh I doubt Audi used uh SAE. So let's see if we can get this to spin without stripping. Let's give it a couple of taps and then see if I brought any WD-40. Well, I don't believe I did because I'm an idiot. So here goes. Oh, I can, I can already feel it stripping. Gosh, this is so annoying. Like I can just feel it stripping with my hand. Uh, let me see if I have any uh, luck with the uh, torques. Nope. T30 kind of fits in there, but again, I don't know. We'll try. All right, let's give it a whirl with the T30. All right, it spun it. That works. That's a win for one. Prize. All right, let's put that there. And then let's do the same technique here. Nice. All right, so if you ever end up doing this, trying to get the fuel pump module out, just know that you gotta put downward pressure on these uh, fasteners because they love to strip. So I got these ones out. That's a that's a big win. I needed a couple of these, um, so that's nice. All right, and since we're here, let's see if we can get that fuel pump uh, assembly out. Or I'm sorry, the module. All right, the module's tucked under there, so we gotta give it a couple of little uh, persuasive kind of uh, deals. Uh, now, if this car was. Uh, something you were going to be repairing not necessarily what you want to be doing but uh oh that's not bad not bad we'll take it all right it'll work so cool i think we got what we need from here let's go on to the uh uh next thing that we're here for all right, folks, as I kind of sat here pondering what I wanted to do is putting my stuff away, getting ready to go to my next uh, car that I'm here to see, I started poking away and uh, fiddling with this engine. The first I thought I was going to take the wiring harness and I got most of the harness, but then too many of the connectors were broken. So I decided that I don't really need a harness, leave it there. But then I started poking around and decided that the cams were pretty decent, but to be honest, I'm really lazy and I don't need cams from this engine right now. I try to usually like collect them. <sighs> and they're good, but they're not like amazing. They're decent. So I'm gonna leave them here. But I just thought you'd appreciate seeing uh, kind of the deliberations that I go through at the yard. I mean, this is a clean car. I'm not sure what its story is. It was not in an accident, but it looks like a clean engine. Didn't look like a mechanical issue, but all right, let me show you what I really kind of was hoping to get, uh, come here for. So uh, this isn't the next car I was heading to, but I was walking along and uh, uh, saw the little sticker here. I figured uh, super fitting to be on a uh, V6. Automatic Mustang. What else would you have on that sticker or on this car? With that sticker so 
I don't know. Take it for what it is. But I thought you'd get a laugh. <sighs> well, folks, as uh, commonly happens at the junkyard, especially this particular junkyard, I've uh, I've been foiled in my uh, uh, attempt to get what I need. And uh, in this case, I was actually trying to get rear brake calipers from a uh, like 90s Ford Taurus, uh, which this is one. However, this is a 98, I believe, and I think I need like 97 or earlier, because this piece of crap has drum brakes. So, uh, that was kind of the main thing that I wanted. It turns out that rear calipers from that era Taurus are 43 millimeter, which are uh, like 10% larger than uh, what comes with the uh, uh, New Edge and SN95 Mustang. So, um, there's no other Tauruses of that era in this yard. So, uh, strike out on that. Uh, don't feel like going to a different yard uh, nearby, which they do look like they have some. I might, but if I do, I'll bring you in. But otherwise, we're going to have a uh, beer and uh, and uh, wrap up for the for this trip. All right, so who wants an encore? I, I don't know why I'm fixated on stupid Taurus calipers, but I got another beer left, and uh, this other yard has, I don't know, like three or four Tauruses apparently of the same year or same era that I'm looking for, a Lincoln Continental and uh, another Audi A4 that I might want to pick a little bit at. So... All right, come on in with me. Uh, at a minimum, we'll go uh, stock out what we want with the Taurus, see if they have what uh, we need, and if not, or either either way, we'll we'll have a beer, and then I'll catch you inside. All right, see you in a minute. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> got into the yard and uh, I started going down my list. I wonder where my list went. All right, so the first uh, three cars. Uh, Apparently the uh, mid '90s Taurus is uh, like the first three cars. They have uh, drum drum brakes in the rear, but this good old '96 uh, uh, whatever it is wagon GL Taurus GL has uh, has discs and has uh, rear calipers that I'm likely looking for. Except they look like crap. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, this '99 Continental apparently also has uh, the same calipers that I need. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll pull the wheels off both and then um, see which one I'm gonna take. So uh, let's do that. We'll have a beer and then uh, uh, we'll decide which one we're gonna get. Cool. Whew. Well, folks, uh, it looks like the calipers on the Taurus here uh, were previously used on Noah's Ark. So I don't want those. Uh, the calipers on the... Uh, Continental here look a lot better. The next side doesn't look as good, but this isn't too bad. It should be a good opportunity to try to clean that up. And this confirms uh, it's what I'm looking for, the uh, 43 millimeter caliper. So uh, we'll just get these two bolts off, zip that uh, um, a line, and then I don't know if the uh, rear brake will give us any trouble, but if it does, We'll, uh, we'll get our trouble right back. So let's see how we can do that. But before we do any of that, gotta have ourselves a little beer here. So I think these are gonna be 13s or 12s. Let's get more. Yeah, it looks like 13s. See if we can get them off with a regular ratchet here. Ow! We did, but I just smashed my hand. <sighs> Damn. Ooh. I guess that's why you're not supposed to drink at the junkyard. Well, this should help. Certainly good.
make sure the parking brakes out. Ooh. That makes it a lot easier. about that lubricant. Why we always bring the WD-40. Or at least proper tools. to the rescue. So we got our 43 millimeter caliper uh, that we came for and I uh, think it'll clean up okay. We'll take it home and take a look at it. Ooh. All right same deal on this side with the 13s and I can always uh, forget. All right. Loosens that up, and then this loosens it. <sighs> okay, that's that. <sighs> All right, let's see if we have a little bit more luck with the uh, parking brake this time. So we got the cable out. The caliper should just pop right out. And then this little moon clip for the parking brake cable, the retainer, that'll come right out and then we can either cut it again or see if we can. Ah, Jesus. Well, there we go. Sort of. So, uh, nip X to the rescue. Hopefully. Our 43 millimeter prize. All right, a little bit more work than I thought, but not too terrible. I don't need the bracket, so the bracket will stay here. Uh, and then that's it. All right, folks. So just to wrap up our uh, junkyard trip here, uh, here's a little, um, a little uh, uh, recap of the loop that we came off with. 
So I uh, didn't film it, but I, I ended up pulling a uh, uh, fuel pump from uh, from an Audi for uh, just to have a spare. This one I'm pretty sure is a good one because it came out of a heavily wrecked car. Um, and then I, I got the hose that you saw and uh, I five finger uh, discounted uh, some of those uh, screws. Uh, and in reality, they don't make you pay for the screws at the junkyard. So um, I didn't really steal them. Uh, and then I got a, uh, a fuel pump module, but what we'd really come for is, uh, these brake calipers. And as you can uh, see, they've cleaned up, uh, pretty decently. Uh, this one I've started cleaning up. I've retracted the piston. Uh, so it's not seized or frozen in any way. This guy still needs, uh some work so we'll, we'll get to that all right so just to close out this video thanks again for coming with me to the junkyard it's one of the favorite well it's a favorite thing of mine to do from time to time just to go hang out and uh pick at some cars and pull some parts uh if you liked what you saw uh click here for more videos of the same and then uh please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff please go ahead and subscribe um, otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.